Okay, so sorry about the shaky camera work. I've got um, one hand holding the camera, my life view, and the other one running the app. So, 10 new apps, uh, 10 new samples in the app. Um, the first one is using the Sprite Batch. It's getting, as you can't see, it easily renders 2000. 2000 sprites um, and it doesn't blink and the CPU and GPU resource utilization is really really good looking at that the second one is using um, a sprite sheet within the sprite batch and it's the sprite sheet has uh, 300 um, icons and it just Cuts up the sprite sheet and um, puts that entire sprite sheet on um, onto the GPU as a texture 2D, and then it basically doesn't need to push anything to the GPU anymore, and it just um, paints off that texture 2D. Pretty good. And another sample is that same sprite batch with a sprite sheet, and that just show, just renders all the sprites in a grid. Use, this is all direct uh, direct X sharp DX rendered and of course we have the um, media foundation wick and this is where's the sound All rendered on DirectX using Media Foundation, and um, it's got five simultaneous Media Foundation media players. Pretty good. Um, it's nearly it's it's got zero CPU utilization when it's doing that. That ten percent is Initial canvas scroll. It's actually more responsive and better CPU G uh, utilization than the IE browser. IE10, which is really good. Um, and the other new sample is uh, basically using an effect graph to run, uh, create a drop shadow on a uh, DirectX, Direct2D drawn image. So easy, it's easy to, if, you, if your app wants a, um, a drop shadow, you, know, you can use Direct2D, run it onto a bitmap and push that bitmap to XAML if you need it in XAML and another complex effect graph um, it, it compiles on about five or six different effects all, all the um, basically using all the effects uh, you all using the standard effects that come with direct 2d effects and it achieves um, it tries to achieve a very close tilt effect um, it's not exactly like the tilt effect that you would get from um, if you if you were to create a shader itself, but it's pretty good to, to see what you can actually do with uh, out of the box effects. Anyway, so yeah, it's it's it it's got that same image um, one on top of the other, using a composite effect to compose those um, two bitmaps on top of each other, and the second bitmap, the one on the very top. Um, is has a a mask effect. So, uh, sorry, a clip effect. So it clips it, and then the, the bottom one is what we use, we blur and we saturate, um, and we do all these other effects on it. So yeah, it's, this is a complex effect graph, 
all direct 2D effects, all the standard ones out of the box, to achieve a very uh, uh, to try to achieve a very, um a tilt like effect. And another sample that we have is yeah dashboard editor. So, uh, so you go in and you can design um, based on all the tiles. You can't really see, but there's squares on. On the ca um, black canvas, that you can select, and if it goes that opac opaque white means you can, then you can't, you know, complete that tile. And then when you leave, it saves all those tiles that you created, outlines for tiles, um, using SQL Lite. Really good using the SQL.net. And if you go back in, it remembers those changes. So yes, it just shows. So now these these are placeholders for actual tiles if you could imagine and you can um, it just shows you how to actually create if you want if your app needs something like these like I was planning to use this um, this tile generator for the, to, to lay out the home screen here at the moment all these are um, absolutely positioned canvas, uh, canvasly a uh, canvas and absolutely positioned, um, and I want to change it to use that tile editor. So that's my next step. But at least now there's a tile editor, and if you need that in your app, please um, use it. And this 3D access is very very simple, uh, direct 3D, and it just shows you how to create the um, the role of each of the axes x, y, and z, and um, just using matrix transforms to rotate them and uh, you can hide the planes that you don't want to see it's just a learning uh, it's just me learning uh, the simple direct 3d um, camera matrix types of transforms and um, the effect of planes and you know um, yeah it's just a learning process in direct 3d so it's a good very simple app to get your um, to get wet and the last sample is me uh, reproducing the uh, OneNote radial menu. It's very fluid and it's yeah, it's all XAML. This has got no direct 3D, but as you can see, it's it's very very fluid. And if you run this, um, uh, if I try to do a uh, screen capture, a video recording on the actual tablet itself, then this won't be as fluid because um, the video capture consumes quite a lot of GPU. Hence why my hand is shaking and I'm recording it by hand. Anyway, there's the, um, how many new samples? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine new samples. Um, go off and play play with it. I'll upload it um, uh, tonight.